Hello, Hector Sage here on the Sage channel, and I'm here today to talk about something pretty dang important. And that is a blog post that Marek Rosa, the CEO of Keen Software House, the guys who make Space Engineers, posted a few days ago, as well as a video that you might have caught up on the Space Engineers official channel showing off some very early AI that they're finally going to be getting into the game. Now, we don't know how far out the AI is going to be, so I'm going to talk about that second, and it's a single video. I'll be showing you guys that, but for right now, I'm going to put up on screen a bit of the blog, and I'm going to talk through some of it, because it's actually, well, it's fairly, fairly exciting. For a long time, I myself have wanted bigger endless worlds, similar to Minecraft. It's one of the things I adored about Minecraft was the fact that you could get into Minecraft and you said, you know what, I'm going to make a base right here and mine down two miles, or you could say I'm going to travel to the north for three hours, and then I'm going to just randomly decide to make a base. That freedom was something fantastic. And what Merrick has said is that in the near future, I believe his exact wording was features that we're going to release very soon, so exploration and super large worlds, as well as procedurally generated asteroids. So we're going to have the option of just a super large world, so sort of like our current world settings, or exploration. And what this exploration mode is, is it's sort of, well, it's like Minecraft. It's an endless world, or at least probably as close to endless as you can really get. And the way it's going to work is, as you fly out to the world, the system sort of randomly generates asteroids and it's going to pull from a library of ships similar to our blueprint systems and it's going to pop the ships in there. So it's going to be like, oh, here's a good blueprint that we have in our blueprint library, we're going to use that one. Well, Merrick is also talking about not just randomly putting them out there, their own things, I mean their own ships, but also pulling them from the Steam Workshop. So if you've built a ship that doesn't use any mods and is pretty damn good and stable and doesn't, you know, cause huge frame rate or RAM issues, then they might just go ahead and use your ship in a randomly generated world. So you set the game to exploration mode, you go flying out there, you might end up running into one of your own ships. So something very cool that I'd like to see. And it looks like they will indeed be doing that, probably. He's asked for feedback on that, by the way. So if you want to go ahead and go to his blog, please do so. I will have a link down below. And also they have linked this blog on their Facebook, because Space of Jews does have an official Facebook page. You might want to check that out too. They sometimes post very interesting things like this, so you don't have to be checking the blog itself. You can check there. Anyway, another thing they were talking about in the exploration mode is, you might say, okay, huge endless world, that's gonna cause some lag, isn't it? Well, they're gonna be using their I'm assuming they're going to be using their far clip plane, which means just like now, if you fly too far away from your starting point asteroids, they disappear. Now, they're still there, really. The system still knows they're there, so it's not like you can't fly back to them. It's going to work the same way here. Except for if there's ships there, it basically says, okay, we've pulled this blueprint for this ship. You fly up to it, you see it, you fly away. It unloads it completely. Now, it still remembers that there's supposed to be a ship there. It still remembers what blueprint it's supposed to be. So if you fly back, you'll see the same exact ship. The only way that, that it'll actually use up more memory on your side, CPU, RAM nonsense, is if you actually land on that ship or asteroid or anything and change it and then fly away. Then, when you fly away, it still has to keep it loaded in some way different than just the original blueprint because it has to remember that some changes were made. That way, when you fly back to it again, you'll be able to find it and it'll still be changed in any way you've made. And that'll only happen if you, like, grind away something or change a console or something of that sort. It's pretty damn cool stuff and... I'm so glad they're working on it. I'm really excited to be seeing it. They said very soon that could probably mean anywhere from a month and we'll start seeing things to two or three months. You never know and you don't know if they're going to run into stuff. He did say they're telling it about us about this. Uh, what did he say? He declassified it prematurely because he wanted people's feedback on it. So remember, you can go to the blog and give them feedback on this and boy, boy, am I excited to see some of this. Uh, what else do they have? Uh, as I mentioned, the call for player-created content from the workshop, that way they can load it into the worlds. And also, i just like to point out that they did mention procedurally generated asteroids that will actually be randomly generated. So it won't be the same set of like 12 or so mixed and matched in different ways. They'll actually have completely random ones from the looks of it, which should be pretty damn awesome to be able to see well, whatever we end up finding in this huge, vast world. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now, the second thing I'm going to talk about is a little something they showed of AI. So really quickly, I'm going to load up that video, and that way I can talk it and watch it at the same time. Alrighty, so here we go. This is actually this footage from the official Space Engineers YouTube channel. I just went and re-recorded it from their 
YouTube channel. Hopefully they don't mind. Sorry, you guys. If you do, just tell me. I'll take this down right away. But here we go. This is what I'm assuming because there wasn't really any commentary with it. It was just them showing this off. And I'm, I'm, full, I'm absolutely fine with sort of this sort of content just showing off. And you see he aims at a spot. He presses what I'm presuming is a button somewhere on the keyboard. And the character automatically finds its way there. This is AI. That's not a person running down there around down there. And you see here, he's got a display grid that's sort of shown up here and he's aiming at spots and telling where to go. Now, you see there, there's the line that it draws. It's sort of like it's path. It's automatically pathfinding. And the reason he had built that sort of platform there was just so you could sort of demonstrate that yes, this AI can indeed find its way up new constructions. You don't have to set paths or something where if in the past in some games, you've actually had to set up a path for the AI to be able to find its way. Like um, Half-Life and all that. A lot of those maps had to generate paths and this is showing that they generate them completely automatically and quickly on the fly, even if you just built new stuff and it tries to find the shortest paths of things. It's very, very cool. And here it's demonstrating that it can go up there and you see that it's running in a bit of a strange way. It seems like it tries to face forward in whichever way it's going, but clearly sometimes gets a bit fitting. And watch this right here as he lands, it actually turns and faces him. That's some little tiny AI thing I thought was pretty cool. And I anyway, I have this footage set to loop. It's very, very cool though to see that it actually works. Again, I don't know why the character zigzags. And also I should have probably pointed out this is super, super early. I'm suspecting we won't see this for a month to five months down the line, probably. Then again, I've been wrong before, and they've come out with stuff like this, but ten times the polish than I was originally expecting a week later. So you never know, but don't get your hopes up for this anytime soon. But I just wanted to show this to you guys, because I get the feeling a lot of people haven't seen this. And AI is something I've absolutely wanted endlessly for a long time in this game. And to hear that they're going to be having this ex exploration mode with pretty much endless worlds, that they're going to be having... AI like this in there and possibly I'm hoping you know if it's got AI like this there's a good chance we'll be seeing something far more advanced such as maybe these AI will be able to fly ships and they'll pathfind in a similar way maybe using a grid base through space where it uses big cubes and says okay I can fly through these cubes based on my ship size I don't know exactly how it would all work but if they got them running on ground probably only a matter of time till they can fly ships if nothing else this means that we'll at least be able to have stations populated by bots possibly doing interesting complicated tasks or even simple tasks just to make the station feel alive anyway though remember this is early stuff no matter what though it's awesome it shows us great things to come and i cannot wait to see more anyway guys that's it i just felt like those few things should definitely be shared with everyone i hope you're all enjoying it and i shall see you next time